Welcome to displayads.info. We've been sharing a case study around monetizing a website using Azoic. Um, we've been doing this for quite some months now, um, just over two years, and we're, every month we're giving you the financial information um, regards to its performance, um, and we're sharing information directly with you. So on displayads.info itself, there is um, month by month case study reports uh, documenting what we're seeing around uh, financial returns about the investment note putting in and tips to, to help grow the website. Uh, currently we're using Azoic. Uh, if you are using a different uh, ad provider, um, Ad Thrive or Mediavine, AdSense, etc., there's, there's similar tips that you can apply to those as well. So let's get straight into it. So we're looking at December 2020, um, and here you can see this is the uh, returns for the month. So we're looking at $13,190 for the month. Um, that was brought in on three different sections. So the basic version of Azoic, uh, AdSense mediation, and also the premium version. So part of the premium program where we pay a fee to Azoic, which on the tier we're on is about $2,200 a month, but this month it returned $3,426. So uh, the premium tier does always make sense. Um, I know a lot of people dislike the, um, the monetization kind of pricing of it the fact that you have to pay as though before they pay you etc but it but it does work so that's how the difference breaks down uh, you can see each of these different sections and how they paid over the month um, so you can see these figures i won't go into it too much but this money is paid to us directly via adsense um, because uh, zoic was aware that it could make more more money from putting an adsense ad in place and there's a little bit that ha that happens each month if we look at big data analytics, we can uh, really study these figures a bit more. <clears throat> so this is looking at December versus um, versus November, basically. So uh, the vis our traffic was down a little bit. Unfortunately, there's been a slow decline. There was some um, Google Core algorithm updates in December as well, which have had a bit of an effect, not massive, but a slow um, decline for us. Page user down. Um, and then when we look at the actual uh, financial figures here, um, we can see that the revenue um, report, so this is how it looks compared to month on month, basically. So the revenue was down 10%. Uh, EPMV was only down about 3%. And as we said, the traffic was down as well. Uh, it's interesting. Um, obviously, there's a couple of kind of seasonal holidays that I don't think our content works well for anyway. So Christmas Day, uh, New Year's Eve, etc. These are times where people aren't going to be uh, browsing on the internet, reading our articles, etc. So there is a bit of a downturn in traffic there, which is expected. It's a seasonality thing. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks. So down from 14,700 to 13,200 there. Uh, if we look at the EPMV figure for the month, that was fairly consistent for us. Um, so averaging about $39 there. So that's not bad. Fairly happy with that. Um, if you're interested to have a look at the ad demand partners as well, so this is the people like what type of ad is actually placed. Uh, this gives you the breakdown on that information. So you can see that if you look at the percentage here, so the bulk of it is Google Ad, ad Exchange ads. This is uh, 14, 10, 14 percent of AdSense mediation, and then I was just gonna have a look down to see um, Outbrain is on here as well. We made some changes to that. I was wondering if it had any effect over the, the last month. I think it might be named something different on here though. Um, not to worry, but that information is available to premium publishers. It does show you where the ads are coming from, uh, how many of them are shown on your page, etc. So it's a good little thing to look at. Uh, our traffic source is ma mainly Google, basically. So google.com, you can see US traffic is the focus, um, but we do also use um, have traffic coming in from different search engines so it's just good to give you a steer of where you're at there's a little change with that for us this month and we don't really expect much change for it anyway we're kind of focused on uh, organic ad traffic so you can see what we've brought in um unfortunately we've had i think the highest month we had this year was about nineteen thousand dollars um and because of how the financial market is we uh, did have high hopes for at uh, the end of the year to have good growth and good returns. But when we look at the actual ad revenue index, um, there's normally, it normally peaks towards the end of the year. If you look at this, um, 
so it typically has that kind of cycle but when we look at 2022 it's a very very flat year so there was no spike towards the end of it there's a little bit of a spike here for black friday but it was minor when you compare to to last year if you kind of draw an average line over the year you can see how it looks compared to last year um, whether the fourth quarter was where you could make good returns um, but that spike never really came this year which is a bit of an an odd um, setup but it's just the financial conditions of the markets basically so unfortunately we didn't get additional gains from that but it is what it is um, we're still continuing with creating content so we're each month publishing around 100 articles um, based on keyword research to designed to pull in more traffic from organic search um, and then show ads in that content of course we do have lots more information around the case study uh, so if you go to display ads to info we've got uh, all of our financial reports month on month here we do have some really good resources uh, so if you're interested in growing traffic doing keyword research looking at on-page seo um, practices um, if you're interested in improving your uh, earning more from the page you're already getting via optimizing Azo. Got some information on that. If you're new to uh, Azo, got some information for how to get started on it. Um, got some information on different ad networks. Uh, and really, one of my well, two two most interesting things really. I wrote a, a fairly in-depth guide on how to make money from content websites, um, which runs you through my entire process of uh, how we build content, uh, how we how we set things up, and what I kind of uh, keyword research processes and the expectations for how long it should take etc and how much you could earn and you know some ideas and the growth that we see uh, and also if you're interested uh, there's an ask me anything question where you can uh, just just post your question anything about wordpress content sites as oak making money online through display advertising etc anything you want um, just just drop it there and i'll do my best to answer it so yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. All right, thanks for watching.